hello how are you doing so i guess with my last video that i posted earlier i ruffled some feathers um i had to block some um messages not messages comments because i don't know what i said in my last video um but i need to remind everybody these are my opinions not facts don't send hate to anybody including me um, I just deleted it. It doesn't really bother me when people get that upset. So I'm guessing there's some truth in whatever I posted earlier. So I just deleted um, the comments. I might even just not allow comments at all, but we'll see what happens. Oh, and then one of them was very classy, very classy. Um, I don't know if they thought I didn't know my brother died earlier this year, but I do mention it in some of my videos. So they must have went back to a couple of you know, videos back um, just to tell me about my brother, <laughs> uh, I guess to hurt me or something, but that's kind of low to bring up somebody who's no longer here, but we keep seeing that with Shanann. Everybody is uh, still bashing her pretty badly, so why should I expect any less? I don't even have 200 followers, guy, so you need to go find somebody else. I haven't even had that many uh, views on that last video, so calm down. <laughs> Anyways, so I just wanna mention a couple of things here. Um, to continue my coverage here on the, uh, the the live that I just saw. Okay, now I know all this stuff that Kim is saying is from like a left field and you're like, what? No way, like, uh, no way that happened. But she is absolutely right. Uh, Chris does have, it's a basic, you know, right as an American uh, to have a fair trial. How he... Um, how the the case wasn't thrown out from the beginning and how it went to trial uh went i mean went you know so fast you know moved very quickly is very suspicious um because you have to have evidence there should not be no question at all that he did this not just a confess you can confess to it but it has to match the evidence she is i mean that's accurate that is that is accurate and the way it sounds if it's true uh the way they are saying um the way they're you know she's telling the story back uh narrating it i guess is what the word i was going to use um that they were treating him as if he was guilty um and they had all this evidence um ronnie asked the correct question you know what evidence do you have and uh they're just saying you know oh we got a lot of evidence Mm hmm. Okay. Um, they didn't apparently have any, any evidence and they're supposed to share that evidence with the defense. Defense is supposed to have everything, everything. Um, and they weren't given anything. And I'm guessing it's because the, everything moves so quickly. Um, and that is a no, no, because here in America, I know countries are backwards, but here you are innocent and you have to be proven without a uh, without a doubt that you are guilty and that has to be you have to have evidence to do that and if you do not have evidence um when you go to you know the preliminary um hearing and stuff like that you, they have to show that to the judge and say look he confessed here's his confession and this is what i have to back it up um and apparently they didn't even have that so um i'm wondering how that is very very suspicious also miss tammy lee um she the way she did it uh i think no it was like it was her husband she was like on a face her husband was like you know congratulating her on a job well done i think the day after he confessed um or some very like very early on on a face on facebook and somebody got like a screen grab of it and it's tammy lee's husband just gloating about his wife and patting her on the back and she comments on it and she says oh it's sleepless nights and oh i just ha you know and it you know like celebrating a bit prematurely <laughs> um, you are not supposed to favor any side at all you're not supposed to favor any side um and if you do keep that in your mind locked away and <laughs> don't ever you know you're never supposed to show your cards so 
that is not good. And I didn't, this is the first time I'm hearing about it. So I'm not sure how that, how she didn't get in trouble for that or what's going to happen. Okay. So all of that is true. But where, what I'm gathering from what I'm hearing, um, the, all the other stuff that she brings up, you know, uh, he did it on his own. Nobody else was involved. I think a lot of people were involved. I, I, I was thinking it was just NK, but no, 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 no. There have, there have been, I think, a lot more people um, that are involved. I think it was originally them two that were there, possibly a third person, leave Jim alone. Um, and then later on, more people got involved. And I believe some people um, were, that were involved afterwards, after the fact, didn't know, or maybe before, I don't know. Um, they didn't know that, you know, people were gonna lose their lives. Um, but how can you say that, you know, now? You know what I mean? Uh, so I think, I, I was thinking he was going to confess or implicate N in Nicole, but I think his end goal is still to be with Nicole. Um, it's just so obvious. I mean, she is pretty close to where he is now um name change so yeah um why would she be so close to him if she was if she moved on and married you know um they i think they think they have they're pulling the wool over well i guess they are on some people and nicole did get away with murder so um anyways i think that with the grounds of this on the grounds of the, you know, everything was botched and everything was uh, taken care of horribly by the de by the uh, detectives. I think on those grounds is what they're trying to get him free for. But they're also trying not to implicate anybody else. So I think it's a group effort because he had lots of help. And I think everybody that's helping him right now is helping him and helping Nicole because I still think they talk. Um, I don't think they know they're all being used. Um, you know, like, I don't know what these people expect. I don't know if they, they're thinking that he's no longer with Nicole. Um, but I think that's his end goal is to be with Nicole. Um, he's acting like, oh no, I don't know where she's at. I don't know. She don't, she won't talk to me. I've tried calling her. Um, I don't believe that. Um, nice try. <laughs> nice try though. Um, but yeah, that's his end goal. So anybody who's trying to get monetary gain from him, I don't know if they're being paid to support him. Make sure you get it in writing because I don't know how you're going to ask a murderer once he's released. Where's my money? <laughs> I don't know how you're going to do that. You know, you just considered a loss. Um, he'll probably be ghosting everybody that's helping him right now. I think he's even using his parents as well. I'm just going to say that. Um, he... Uh, was with he liked to, I think he used to play both sides with his parents and Shanann um, I think that's why it that little argument went on so long I think if he honestly went to his parents and said you know what I love her um, or not his parents his mom and his sister Jamie Jamie the sister the ghost um, yeah her um, I think if she if he would have honestly sat down with him and said you know what I really love her she's my wife the mother to my children um, this needs to stop to both of them, like had uh, sat down with him. I think this could have been taken care of a long time ago. Um, I think him, when they moved to Colorado and him not speaking to his family, um, I think that was also on his part as well. He's a grown man. Um, he, he All he knew was his family and apparently he never had another girlfriend. So, I mean, was he uh, so afraid of her, you know? It's just, I don't know. We just gotta wait and see what's gonna end up happening, but I don't know, guys. I don't know. I don't know. It's just looking kind of... I was just very impatient, basically. And I just want to know what's going to happen. It's just kind of like they're talking... They're giving, like, little morsels, little morsels. And I'm like, just tell us everything. Like, but honestly, like I said in my last video, I don't think they're even going to use any of this. But I think they're just trying to convince everybody, get some uh, more people to switch sides and um, garner sympathy. Um, I think they're going to probably plead something like uh, insanity, temporary insanity, or he snapped, or heat of passion, or whatever they call it, um, because he's he's not like that, you know, which I think is more risky, 
you know what I mean? But whatever, just be careful, everybody that's helping him. And just to sum this all up, um, he does deserve another trial. I've been on that, I mean, I've seen that since this whole thing started. Like, who benefited and or why were they rushing everything with him? You know, I don't even know how the judge um, allowed this to go down the judge is supposed to oversee everything so i'm thinking the judge has some sort of connection to somebody um that either expedited it or something because that does not happen if there is no evidence or maybe they're hiding it maybe they just haven't showed it but that's a no-no you have to show the defense they have to have every piece of evidence everything so i don't know how that was allowed and it's going to be the state's, it's going to be on the state. The state is responsible for that. You know, they are the ones that did um, these victims wrong. They were the ones that were supposed to make sure without a, without a shadow of doubt. Like, like all, all dots are, no, all I's are dotted and all T's are crossed. Like they're supposed to make sure of that and they didn't. And it's going to be their own fault.